Speaking of numbers, the figure as far as vultures in India goes had hit a dismal low a few years ago. But now conservations have uh, reason to cheer. The birds are back in their thousands. Let's take a look at uh, this special report. 5,000. You could talk of that number as a milestone in world conservation history. This possibly is the world's largest congregation of vultures in years. 5,000 vultures of different species have been seen wintering in a 5,600 hectare conservation zone in India's desert state of Rajasthan. Jorbir, in India's border district of Bikaner, is on the back page of a Hindi daily, but on the front lines of world raptor conservation. Luckily, it falls on the route of vultures migrating from Eurasia and Mongolia. It is also one of the four identified vulture breeding grounds in India, apart from the ones in Pinjor, Guwahati and Bhopal in the country's northwest, east and centre. This uh, congregation of 5,000 vultures is certainly a good uh, sign of vultures and vulture conservation in India. Because vultures we noticed in around 1990s, uh, their population was going down rapidly and one of the main reasons which was identified was diclofenac. The vulture breeding programme grew following a dramatic decline in the population of the birds in the 1990s. This programme ran parallel to efforts to phase out the popular anti-inflammatory drug diclofenac. Consumption of animals treated with diclofenac was identified as the cause of vulture deaths in the subcontinent. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug, which is principally diclofenac, which um, uh, which uh, which is the ingestion of uh, this uh, animal with this drug, uh, causes the kidney failure of the vultures, and uh, there was a rapid decline in their population. At the vulture restoration project in Changamanga in Pakistan, experts are skeptical about releasing the vultures they have bred for years. It was a, was a very long-term process to attain this successful breeding. So uh, for a while, up till 2020, we don't have any release plans until uh, we have a controlled environment outside this um, center as well. Because besides teclofenic, other uh, few um, threats have also been identified. That's why the congregation at Jorbir stands out. These birds have been worshipped in Indian mythology as Jatayu. The Parsi Towers of Silence are incomplete without them. Now decimated because of a drug, Nature's Cleanup Crew is looking up to your support to soar high again. Your report, Vion.